Hello guys, Nato Ace here and this will be response to Maximilian Dude aka Miles923 and Matt on once again, believe it or not, the Capcom Test 2022. Some new update that happened that sort of got me interested and that is, here's the gym. So Matsumoto, the producer of Street Fighter V, is in charge of the Capcom Fighting Collection. And again, if you know what that game is, it's 10 fighting games. We add a lot of features, even new content, like a whole shebang for $40. Plus, if you buy that game, I think only the first print, I could be wrong, there is a code you can get free. I think it's called Three Wonders, a Capcom Classic Arcade for Capcom Arcade Second Stadium, which of course it also got leaked. I'm not gonna talk about it here out of respect and consideration with Capcom, but let's just say the games, most some of them, or maybe most of them are good, but I'll talk about that once that game comes out or that app, compilation, whatever. I am enjoying the first one, of course, with my main channel and the extended one. I did some showcase, spoiler theater, but of course I'm using the quote-unquote invincibility because you know how those games are hard. Okay, I digress, but you get the idea there. So anyway, back to the Capcom Fighting Collection. One of the interviewer asked Matsumoto, hey, you know, we hear this story about if we buy this classic, any chance of a brand new version of that series, such as, like I said, Dark Stalkers, you know, in the past, the story with Darkstalk Resurrection is you buy that, show the support, maybe a new Darkstalker comes, of course that failed. And then of course they did a video featuring the Yo Video Game crew with Matt basically said, buy this fighting collection, maybe you get a new Darkstalker, and then even Max kind of talk about it. So in his interview, the interviewer basically asked Masumoto, okay, so buying this collection, will it help the company kind of entice of doing a new such like Dark Stalker, and the surprising answer is that he said that even so, say that the Capcom Final Collection sold well, a lot of people bought it. But it's forty dollars for what the content is. I have to admit, it's pretty good, especially physical disc, free DLC, a free game for like I said, the Capcom Arcade Second Stadium. Better online, rollback, training for those, you know, competitors. Imagine that. Imagine this game in a competitive level because the Street Fighter 38th anniversary collection, yeah, apparently people say that that game was like kind of hokey. You know, it is what it is there. So for $40, there's a lot of stuff. However, Matsumoto said, well, even so, uh, chances of, say, again, a Dark Stalker, Cyberbot, red or whatever it's going to be very slim so basically the bottom line is even so that there is some sort of capcom test the higher up chances are they're going to say no what if it doesn't sell so you kind of like once again i'm going to bring this up the chris pranger conspiracy which is even so you think a lot of people say we want a new dark stalker i want a new dark stalker dark stalker for 2022 23 what if there's a chance that it's all a lie? What if there's a chance that nobody really gives the crap about Dark Stalker? What if we do a new Dark Stalker and people are waiting for a sale? Look what happened. Shimun is three. Believe it or not, uh, sadly to say from what I understand, it did have the Chris Spanger conspiracy effect. A lot of people said, yeah, yeah, Shimun is three. Sony pitched in. Epic Games pitched in, a lot of people pitched in. And then, when the game comes out, people are like, where's the sales? Uh, what's going on? Why is it all suddenly now? It's always on the bargain bin, and in the PSN store, it's always under $10. Heck, even to some extent, under $8. What's going on there? I thought a lot of people wanted Shimune 3. People were excited for it. Well, there probably are some, but I guess the majority is they're not. See, that's sort of the Chris Prank conspiracy in effect there, fortunately. So that's what Capcom's probably thinking. Again, I'm just guessing. It's just a theory here. What if that's also the situation? They put a lot of money for Dark Stalker and 
not a lot of people bought it. Suddenly, there's this negative feeling about this game. Like, what's going on? All suddenly, some sort of sonic cycle curse. I mean, look at Street Fighter Cross Tekken. People are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, auto block jam for the casual this black content? What was going on? Or Street Fighter V. All suddenly, where's arcade mode? Where's the single player content? So I need to have PlayStation Plus to have the full experience of this game in 2016. Uh, what's going on here? Again, or the, <laughs> again, nothing personal to Miles 923, Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. And he even admitted on that video by Street Fighter VI leak that he was cheering for the game because he believed in the game. Online was good, but the content was what's going on. Where's the X-Men? Oh, don't worry, it's all about function. Uh, were any X-Men in the future in the game? Oh, well, you know what? You know what's more popular than X-Men? Guardian of the Galaxy. Well, Chris Pratt's probably going to be happy about that. Maybe. So you got to see what's going on there. So what if you have that something with Dark Stuff? And so, yeah, that's going to suck about that. And my thoughts about it is, yeah, it is going to suck. Because even so, probably even a lot of people do want a new Dark Stalker. How are they going to do a new Dark Stalker? How is it going to work? What if this new Dark Stalker is not the same as the classic one and it's not fun? Then what? Not only you just waste a lot of resource, that franchise might have its reputation ruined, i.e. Diablo Immortal, you know that story, so... Again, for me, not really surprising about that. Yeah, even so, if a lot of people bought the Capcom Fighting Collection, chances of a new franchise from this, especially like Darkstalker, are probably going to be slim. It might still happen. Again, you know, you just have to prove it. And again, when you come with the developer side, you got to do it good. You got to have the nostalgic element for Darkstalker. Again, demo, beta, whatever. Again, only time will tell. However, I, give you, I have to give Matsumoto credit. And that is, if this collection at least do well, and I think it will, like I said, the FGC are excited. And for the casual, for $40 with a lot of content, in my opinion, potentially rollback, yeah, it's probably going to be worth $40, especially if you buy it physically. Again, People are more confident to buy physically on that particular MSRP price than digitally. Okay, so point for me, I just bought Pac-Man Museum Plus. $20 physically because I have, I feel like I get more out of it because I'm not only paying for the game, the code, whatever, the disc, the cover, the case. And I know Namco Bandai was trying to do some sort of trick by... Oh, if you buy it digitally, one, the first month edition, you get more figurines. But then they did say that it is going to come out also in the long run. I don't know if DLC what. That's a different story there. But again, for me personally, even so that to some extent, I don't really care about whether it's physical or digital if the price is right. But if it's the full MSRP, I'm more comfortable buying it physically because I think I get more of my buck. So same goes with Capcom Final Collection. It has a physical release. Darkstalker Resurrection did not in the West. Capcom Beat em Up did not have a physical release in the West. So anyway, like I said, if this one is successful, according to Matsumoto, maybe in the future Capcom might consider more collection series. So imagine the Mega Man Legend Collection, Mega Man Battle Network Collection, Mega Man Star Force Collection. Because believe it or not, especially the network, I have not even played them on the GBA, DS, whatever. And remember, they did the Mega Man Zero Collection. I have it on the Switch and PS4. My gosh, it's hard, but it's fun. Again, so a lot of people... For Mega Man fans, they're wanting at least a Battle Network collection 
all four games or maybe eight because of there's the two version whatever and why not also include the gamecube battle network but the bottom line is matsumoto said if this capcom fighting collection is successful and it helped them make money they might consider doing more collection like i said uh, there's a lot of option for that it could be like i said not only the Mega Man network star force legend it could be also the Capcom Fighting 3D collection, Rival School, Power Stone, Tech Romancer, whatever. Heck, even maybe the Capcom Hollywood collection, such as the Marvel series game, Predator, Dinosaur and Cadillac, and those license games. Just imagine the possibility if they're willing to do it. Because right now, because also with the leak for Capcom Arcade Second Stadium, you do know that there is no license game so they're you know i'm not gonna spoil what the list is if you know what it is then you know what it is there but you know it is what it is there but the bottom line is yeah i had to figure out that chances of a new dark stalker or any new franchise based on a classic one probably gonna be slim they have to rely on street fighter and resident evil and monster hunter right now they are doing some probably small indie type games we just have to wait and see. But again, like I said, you know, just let Capcom know. I know it's kind of suck. Battle Network, Star Force, Legend, License Collection, 3D fighting game, 3D games, you name it. We'll just have to wait and see. So anyway, those are my thoughts. And with that, I'll see you guys later.